Good morning everyone, my name is Meg and I'm a current second year business student at UE. I hope you guys have all been keeping well and safe during this current pandemic um, and been keeping yourselves productive during lockdown. I've, I've been trying to. So um, today I'm hopping on these stories just to give you a few personal tips of how you can boost your CV during a time like this when you can't go out. Okay, so my first and I think the most important thing that I would recommend is to invest in an online course. Um, most of them are paid. However, you can um, get some really good, really good free ones, especially um, at this time, a lot of institutions and online course sites are offering free online courses um, for students during lockdown. So it's definitely a good idea to take advantage of that. All right, so the one that's offering free online courses is called edX. Highly recommend that. There's like, there's uh, there's a load a load of different courses ranging in like almost every subject. And um, for those of you those of you who already know uh, Udemy, <laughs> Udemy, I would also recommend that. I've done two Udemy courses already during lockdown. Um, they are paid, most of them. I think they're all paid actually, but it's not expensive. It's definitely a really good investment to make and um, try catch them when they're on sale. I um, have just I'm done one in digital marketing and um, <laughs> I did a wine connoisseur course. Um, that's just more of like a hobby, not really related to my course at all. But yeah, uh, definitely a way to um, enhance your education and add something to your CV. And it can show employers that you have taken the initiative to keep um, busy. And, um... Uh, and my second tip is um, to learn a new skill. I haven't done this yet, but it's something I aim to um, invest in during this time. Skills, um, when I say this, I mean like, why not learn a new language? Um, um, enhance your um, graphic design skills, maybe if you're into that. Like for those of you who don't even know how to use Photoshop, like me, I don't know how to use Photoshop, but I'd love to learn. So maybe um, that's a skill I will adopt during this time. Otherwise, um, learn a new instrument, take up the hobby of photography, um, or if you're a writer, go and write a blog. This is the perfect time. You have all the time in the world to sit down and write about something you're passionate about. So I definitely say think of a new skill that you can learn. All right. So the third tip, um, this is going out to maybe placement students who placement didn't go through. You couldn't find one or it got canceled because of the coronavirus is to maybe consider an online virtual internship. There um, is something I was actually, I found quite interesting because I didn't know it even existed, but they're becoming very well known and well recognized by a lot of big companies. And if you go onto a few different um, like um, websites, which I'll list that offer virtual internships, you'll see that they work with such big companies. So I've just put a link to um, one of the um, sites that offer virtual internships, internships that I think are great. And um, they offer like um, they offer um, jobs in many fields of work, such as like IT, sales, journalism, marketing and um, software development. So maybe that's something you guys can consider and add to your CV in that aspect. And the great thing is you can work from home. All you need is a laptop. So I've heard LinkedIn is the most important social platform for employers when they're looking at you online. LinkedIn is the best way you can um, maintain your personal brand. Okay, so my fifth tip of advice would be to keep active on social media. Employers will look at a, across all your social media platforms, not just your LinkedIn. So it's important to keep um, important to keep them all um, top-notch and um, employer friendly <laughs> all right tip number six is um, in my opinion quite boring and I hate doing this but it's so important to keep doing it is tidying up your CV I'm sure um, you all know having to apply to different jobs different descriptions you will want to have to adjust your CV for every different application but um, nonetheless, it's important to constantly be adding and taking away from your CV to stuff that is relevant um, and stuff that you've just completed. So, for example, if you were to complete an online course, like I mentioned above, you must add that to your CV um, ASAP so that when you send that CV out to the next employer, they can see, wow, OK, 
yeah she's been busy in the last month maybe um along those lines if not if you haven't even added up you may want to reconsider the design of your cv i use canva i can put a link now so you got i love canva i use it not only for cvs and stuff like that but i will use it for graphic design for maybe um i run the social media account for this one brand and i use canva all the time to make ads and um really lovely displays so yeah um if you don't know canva it's basically photoshop for dummies and it's the best all right so tip number seven which is my last one for today is to focus on your studies i know i'm talking to a majority of students right now um who either have exams coming up um and i know most of us are almost done my, my course ends at the end of this month which is great um so until that's done personally i'm gonna put off doing any like online courses or internships or anything that would be a lot of time consuming until the most important thing is done which is our degree so yeah, although having loads of work experience and skills and what you name it on your CV, employers really do care about your grades and having um, a strong appearance on that sector of things, having a great degree, showing them that you worked hard this time, this time, showing them that you cared at university is probably one of the most important things. So I hope I have um, helped you guys today. Or if I haven't helped you, I hope I have um, given you a few ideas or um, given you a bit of inspiration. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, please fire away. If you think I've missed something um, that you think are really great ways to add your CV at this time, please let me know and I'll share. As well as um, if you want me to elaborate more on some of the tips I've mentioned, I'm happy. I'm here for the next few hours. I'm all yours to talk. So yeah, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait to see some of the answers.